Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you have a Happy everybody, I hope all your wishes Guess what? No painting today. Today we're gonna do something different. Many people ask me about the Eat Your Cookies clip at the end of my videos, what's, what it's all about and how I made it. Eat your cookies! Today I will tell you all about it, everything. So, it's eat your cookies, it's post. When I was making my first episode, I wanted to have a short clip at the end of it, you know? Kind of like my signature um, and I didn't know what I was gonna do, I just knew I wanted to play with that silu silhouette of myself jumping, playing, running or I don't know, painting, whatever I set up the lights behind me just to show you how the silhouette trick works remember, they're behind me meow meow meow, meow meow meow, meow meow meow, meow, meow fit me you see? So, I'm gonna make a full body silhouette with this cheat and I'm gonna show you how easy it was to make it. Well, kinda. Let's go! One of the clips that I always loved was the one at the end of Chappelle show. I'm not a big fan of this show, but I really like that clip when he says I'm rich, bitch! Another one that I really like, it is, um, I don't know where I saw it, but there is a big bird, you know, standing by a lake looking for fish when suddenly a fish jumps off the water and eats it like this. It is really short, really funny and stays with you forever. I don't know, I just love these little clips that, you know, they get imprinted in you. And then, there you go. You can, you can do stuff. You can have a, you know, like a puppet look. So, to choose the silhouette, I have to put the camera in the other side. I wanted to create a silhouette image of me painting or dancing, uh, something that would really show me for who I am. And that's when I realized that something that could really express who I am is this little phrase that I use all the time. Eat your cookies. People that know me, friends, family are used to me saying it in various situations. I actually got a real cookie, but I ate it. Real cookies are not that big. Well, there's some, but then you eat them and whatever. So I have to make up my own cookie and I made it with plates. Tape them together. And as I was doing that, I was giving it some irregular shape. What does eat your cookies mean? Well, sometimes you might feel a little blue, a little down. That's when I say that you should take the things that really make you happy and concentrate on them instead. If you like to dance, go and dance. If you like movies, go on to the movie theater and see a movie, relax. It's kind of like my way of saying um, carpe diem, assist the day. And then you do karate kick to the cookie. Here we have a cookie and now it needs to be beaten. My beaten cookie is gonna look like this. I hope it your cookies make sense. If not, well, it wouldn't be the first time it, I say something doesn't make sense. Uh, recently I told a girlfriend that the guy from the grocery store knocked me up. So she was like, who? What? When? And I was like, well, yesterday, you know, he was pushing this cart so fast that he run into me and then that's, that's when I realized that I said knock me up and said knock me down so now you have our cookie silhouette <laughs> probably the hardest thing about making this clip was shooting it so it actually looks like I'm biting the cookie but finally I picked this one all I have to do is increase the contrast 
to make it really really crispy and we'll see our silhouette in black and white and this is how you increase the contrast that's it now we have to do something about the beaten cookie you can't look beaten before I bite it right so uh, this one is a little bit more complicated I copied a part of the cookie on top to mask the bite mark all I have to do now is animate frame by frame that part of the cookie so it moves all together with my cookie now we have to move this part frame by frame I also have to squeeze it a little bit um, when I flip it right before I'm biting the cookie um, so it looks more natural this can take a little bit of time but I think it's worth it like I told you before I own a small production company and I use Final Cut a lot eat your cookies so the last touch is to apply the old film effect to the whole clip this effect is very popular and I, I almost feel like every application must have it even if you have a very cheap application I know for sure that iMovie has it so you can check it out if you want and um, that's it, voila, Bob your uncle eat your cookies eat your cookies eat your cookies well that wasn't too hard, right? and by the way look what i get myself for christmas i got a high resolution camera i've been saving for a long time to get me one of this i really need it for work but with this baby i will be able to take high resolution prints i mean high resolution pictures of my painting so i can make prints and i'm very excited about it i will have some out there in case you're interested and if you're not i will stick make them for me or something so uh next week i hope you had fun by the way and next week i will have another episode with a painting and see you next time bye eat your cookies hmm.